Dave here at Russo's RV Center in very cold Lakeville, Massachusetts. We just had a major snowstorm and it's currently about 25 degrees out, but I decided, you know what? I'm going to make a video on a 2109S because this is the last new Rockwood that we have in stock. Probably will be the only one before the new year, so I just wanted to get this in before Christmas week. Now, I know, it's got about a foot of snow on the roof and icicles coming off of it, but <laughs> I think, uh, if anything, we can just uh, appreciate how well constructed the Rockwood trailers are, um, how strong the roofs are, and how they can uh, handle harsh weather. But in all seriousness, I did want to take you through, uh, and I also wanted to show something that I never see in YouTube RV videos, at least the ones that I've watched. It's always daytime. Now, there's a good reason why it's daytime, so you can see everything, but I think for this video, at least at one portion, I want to show you what it looks like at night, just to get a sense of what the awning lights are look like and the front marker lights and even the interior lights. What's the experience when it's dark out? So as usual, I just want to walk around this 20, uh, 2109S. I want to walk around the unit and just show you some of the features. Some of them are frozen and covered with snow, but to be able to get to most everything. So we have the front light. During the day, this doesn't look like much, but that LED light is pretty bright and it's just gonna get look brighter as uh, it gets darker out. Of course, we have the two 30 pound propane bottles under the snow there. Two battery boxes, there's a, a disconnect switch underneath. One thing um, I've been noticing with Rockwood, when you, uh, they're coming standard now, with uh, two sets of of, um, of wires, so they so they have uh, the regular battery positive negative, but they also are coming with the solar uh, hookup. So they are all solar prep. Uh, all of the Rockwood travel trailers are coming. Even if you don't get the option for solar, they're going to come solar prep. So they're just going to come with those um, those connections there. This particular unit, gross weight, it's always gonna be a little bit different based on the options, but gross weight, 5,692, that's the GVWR. And then it has a dry weight of 4306. We always get the slide toppers, even when it's a small slide like this, it just protects so well. No snow on that slide room. If there's any snow, it would be on top of the, the topper. Good practice to bring the slides in when it does snow, which we did, just an FYI. So this is behind the sofa. There is some room for storage. A lot of times, um, I know people just store the, the fold, folding table in there. And speaking of which, I should go back here. The front storage compartment. You can see the folding table that would set up inside. Really convenient where they locate all your, your water hookups and your sewer. So you have uh, city water, uh, antifreeze inlet, and uh, tank flush all in one place, and the shower, your electrical hookup. 30 amp and of course your gray on the left black on the right sewer outlet Goodyear tires standard walkable oh sorry spare tire and a ladder access to the walkable roof 300 pound capacity receiver for bikes or for storage rack more ride steps, very easy to adjust. You just pull them down now, there's no pin, so you can't lose the pin. Something that's kind of a small thing, but actually it, it, it's very convenient. So they used to just have the, they used to just um, have the lock right there and then they got rid of it and then they just went to the, the, hit, the hinges that were 
harder, they made the door a little harder to move, right? So it would, if in a little breeze, it wouldn't move. They finally went back and they added the locks back on. So when it's windy out, you have the option to keep it open with the lock. I don't know why they ever get rid of it, but it is back. The griddle would mount here along with the uh, outside table. TV can mount outside as well. And you got outside speakers. I'll show you the, the LED light. And when it gets dark out, you're gonna see it's way brighter. So you saw the other side of the pass-through storage. I just wanna show you the bigger side. Magnet latch, yay, love those magnet latches. Actually see a little better. So table, 25 foot power cord, 30 amp cord. And you can see all the aluminum structure there underneath all your cranks. Conveniently located where there's magnets to keep them up. And you also have the option for a side solar. Even if you get the solar option, it'll come with that. All right, I want to show you, uh, the lights are off right now. Pretty dark in here, even though it's still a little bit of twilight outside. Lights go on. What a difference. What's really nice, so right now it's, it's pretty bright when you have all the lights on. But if you need to, you know, turn a few of them off just to make it a little more um, maybe easy on the eyes. You can say turn off some of them. It's got a, a little nicer quality to it. So as you can see, this interior that we're looking at, this is the new Newport Ash. This is the lighter option. This is also the the option, really. The standard is the slate wood, which is darker. This um, Newport Ash, a couple hundred bucks to get this color, the lighter color. And then usually when we go Newport and we go light, we go darker on the furniture. So this is the chocolate. This is what it's going to be looking like for um, many months to come. Right now it's December, but probably right through July it's going to stay the same. And then the flooring. The kitchen, the, the oven is standard, gas oven, and you don't have to light it from inside. You just have to crawl in there and light it from underneath. Now it actually has a, just a, a knob. You can hit the uh, igniter, turn that on, and you can light it that way. Even fun lights. Ooh, LED lights. Three burner cooktop. Some manuals. Three burner. Even more light under there. Turn on and off. Your stereo and DVD player, Bluetooth system, the TV which levels out. 24 inch HD TV, LED TV. Now in the 2109, uh, you don't have, certainly you don't have a, a separation, like a wall, but you do have the curtain. So, certainly covers the bed. All right, on the sides of the bed, you can see a um, couple of shelves. You have the electrical outlet, USB charging center on that side. And then I think, yep, it's kind of hidden right under there, another outlet. For hanging clothes on either side. And then there's additional storage up top. It's the same on the other side. Automotive grade windshield standard. Nice in this model, you get the, the exit window that opens and that other um, window that opens up from the bottom for a little bit of a cross breeze. Solid kitchen countertop and an extension. Oop, that was the griddle right there. T 
keep draw draw drawer can't say that word and nice nice wide anywhere you can get storage any 21 foot unit got to take advantage of it and then this little tall shelf cabinet you can take off out the shelves these are removable so the fridge, um, this is the standard gas electric fridge. You can get the option for the 12 volt fridge. When you get the 12 volt fridge, you automatically get the 190 watt solar panel and inverter. But if you were to get the regular gas electric fridge, this is what it would look like. It has the, the raised panels that match whatever interior wood you get. Just take a quick look inside. bathroom you got a solid corner shower solid sliding door shower miser they kept the uh, storage pouches for your shampoo and soap just a little bit more storage under the bed just a little bit more you can see all the aluminum still and some Couple more drawers. I should say three drawers. <clears throat> AC is the standard 13.5,000 BTU. You had the option to get the 15,000 upgrade. I think that's probably overkill for a camper this size. I think once you get into like the 25 foot minis or anything bigger, you definitely want to go with the 15,000. This particular one we didn't get with the solar, but if it did, we'd be able to monitor it there. And you have uh, heat and AC controls. All right, let's check to see what it looks like when the slide's in. All right, I brought the slide room in. I just want to show you what that looks like. So, very easy to get by, get to the kitchen, get to the bed. It's really just similar to that 19 FBS Geo Pro. That small slide doesn't really take up much space. You lose an outlet on the side. It kind of gets covered up. That's about it. You really don't lose any access. Certainly the bathroom, the fridge, it's all still there. So if you're concerned about that when you're traveling, this model is not an issue. It's not like that 2104S where when you bring the slide room in, you can't get to the bathroom, you can't get to the fridge. So. Or so you can get to it, to the bathroom, but it's very difficult. This is very easy to move around. All right, let's just take a look outside with those lights. All right, so here we are. It's getting darker outside. And I just wanted to show you how bright these lights are when you need them to be at night. So certainly working out here, if you have to go to the propane station under the battery, work outside, really nice and bright. During the day, you cannot get a sense for how bright that is, but when it gets dark out, really, really shines. And then the awning light strip, nice and bright. It bounces off the fiberglass on the trailer, and when the awning is out, it's even brighter because it's a, a light colored um, fabric underneath. Along with the amber light. So plenty of light. You can actually see it bouncing off the snow too and the step light. Nice and bright at night. All right. So this unit is in stock as of right now, December 18th, 2020. You can check it out at Russo's RV in Lakeville, Mass. Have a great day and happy holidays.